A simple bollard can do a lot of good. Residents can use their motor vehicles on both sides of it. But streets become unusable for through traffic. If needed, the emergency services can lower the bollard to be able to pass. This situation can also be achieved in a technically more advanced fashion. Utrecht created compartments in a residential area. Cars cannot go from one compartment to the other. But emergency services and permit holders can lower the bollards and pass them at any time. Most vehicles are only allowed to stay at one side of the bollards. But people cycling can of course very easily pass this barrier to motor traffic. To travel from one part of the residential area to the other. Sertogenbos uses this system to close off the pedestrianized city center but for the bus that can traverse that area. Residents have an electronic pass in their car that also allows them to enter the area. This is a very effective system against rat running. Here too, the filtered permeability does not affect people cycling at all. You are allowed to traverse the entire area on your bicycle by simply passing the barriers for motor traffic. Using this system is not restricted to the built-up area. You can find it in the countryside as well. This driver waves a pass over the sensor to lower the pyramid only residents have such a pass. But you can also restrict through traffic in a different way. This pyramid comes down for every single vehicle. But it will take 45 seconds. If you would find four or five vehicles in front of you on any given morning, you won't ever take this shortcut again. So only people go here that really need to be in the area. Such retracting bollards can be found all over the Netherlands in all shapes and sizes. But there are also other types of filters. A narrow bridge for instance. Cycling can always take place in both directions. For motor traffic there is only one center lane to be used in alternating directions and regulated by a traffic signal. The signal is read by default. When a vehicle approaches, only that end turns green and traffic on the other end must wait until the first vehicle has cleared the bridge. The bridge is not very old and it was made this narrow deliberately to make this road unattractive for through traffic. The same goes for this relatively new railway underpass. There's only one lane for motor traffic, but there is a cycleway in two directions. The first car detected gets a green light. A horse rider must push a button, by the way. And then the driver of the motor vehicle, or horse, can use the underpass. A driver on the other end will have to wait until the underpass is completely clear again. Yet another way to make cycling more attractive than using a motor vehicle also in the countryside.